The coffee cup prompts are started in my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media, and we pulled one last week to work on for the entire month of October. That prompt was index cards. So we're working with that product, posting our pictures over in the Facebook group, and hopefully everyone will participate and share the work that you do on index cards. It doesn't have to be what I do. But this was my index card from last week. There's a playlist in the description. Let me introduce you to my channel. Now, let's get started with week two. Last week, I worked on the recipe card that you see here. This week, I'm going to work on the tea-stained index cards that I have here. First thing I shall do is fold them each in half. This one is a, has a little rip on it. I think I'm I might decide to use it, but I think I wind up pulling it out and pulling another one. I have a whole stack of, of coffee-stained index cards. So I'm working on three for this week. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. I want to make a little booklet, but I don't know if I want to make that booklet out of 100% index cards or whether I want to use the index card as my cover. Well, I decided to use it as my cover. So the first thing I'm going to do is cover this index card and I'm covering it with tissue paper. I've pulled out some stamps and I've pulled out black ink and I am just randomly stamping on this tissue paper with that black stamp. And I have chose a botanical type of theme. I have pulled all stamps of leaves and ferns and different things like that. So that is what I am stamping. And I am going monotone. I am going nothing but black ink. And I want to make sure that I'm just getting good coverage on this tissue paper. So we are making our own tissue paper. And this, uh, the tissue paper that I'm utilizing is just a cheap tissue paper from the dollar store. Dollar Tree, I believe is where, where I got it, and I bought it in a big, uh, they had a big, huge pack of it. And it's all just white tissue paper. You can also get it in packages that you receive. There's all kinds of all kinds of avenues to find tissue paper. You can even pull apart napkins and use that bottom white layer of a napkin if you don't have tissue paper on hand. Or just use the top of the napkin and cover it with something interesting like the imprint on that napkin. There's so many things that you can do right here. This is what I'm choosing to do, the white tissue paper, stamping it with black ink. Now that I have all my leaves down, I have this script stamp that I am pulling out and putting the script stamp on top of on top of the leaves and just everywhere. And you will find in my channel I tend to work in monotones, I tend to work in dark colors, I tend to work in grunge a lot, but that by any stretch of the imagination doesn't mean that you have to work in the same colors that I do, do you? Again, if you used a napkin, you could have a very colorful napkin and work in those bright, colorful colors. That just isn't me <laughs> so much as the, the grunge is. So I'll do me, you do you, and we'll all come up with some great ideas to use these index cards over or throughout the month of October. So now that I have that tissue paper completely covered, I'm 
adding some of my homemade Mod Podge, which is just a mixture of Elmer's glue and water, one third water, two thirds glue, or you know, a cup of water, a third a cup of, of glue. And I'll lay my tissue paper down and then go from the inside out to make sure that tissue paper is fully adhered to my index card. And I think the tea stained index card is coming through pretty, pretty good. I like the way that's looking. It's that um, grungy and tiki look underneath this white tissue paper, that veil on top of it with the black ink. I'm, I'm happy with the way these are looking. So we'll get all of this on. And we will allow that to fully dry. I want to allow it to fully dry. I do take my hair dryer to it and speed up the drying process some. I don't believe I show that in the video, but I do want to let you know that I'm not as patient as one would think. <laughs> well, I don't know that anyone ever thought I was patient, but I am not um, waiting for it to dry naturally on its own. I'm pulling out my hair dryer and drying this uh, until it's dry to the touch and I can move forward then. So we have that where we need it to be. I'm cutting it apart just with a pair of scissors. And I'll take that uh, tissue paper and fold it, put that over in my bin to use in other projects. So what is left over, I will use again, probably in a collage. So I started to trim this with, with scissors and I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna pull in my cutter and get a very precise trim there on the edge because while the scissors are great, and some people can trim a straight line with no problem. I tend to generally get a piece of my substrate in my trim, and I wind up making it an uneven product. So I'm using the cutter. Once again, it's not something that you have to do, but my hand is not as steady as it possibly could be. So now that I have those trimmed, I will just fold them in half, and this has become the cover of my book. I want to round those corners. I am using the Crocodile Corner Rounder. If you do not have one of these, you can take a bottle cap and pencil your round edge, and that way you get uniformity and you can trim it or fussy cut it. Now that that is done, I will ink around with the black ink and I'm inking around the outside edges and of course down the spine. So I have all three of those inked up now. And it's time for some gold splatters and some gold paint. So I have decided to try my block or my image here, my, my stamp, with the gold paint. That was the stamp with the gold paint with a little bit of black in. And at the time, I decided to clean all of the black off of my stamp. In retrospect, I maybe wanted to leave that black in there for the detail and defining that leaf, but I chose not to. So we're going to carry forward without that black outline. And that's the, how the difference is. You can see the one on the right is the one with the black ink still residue on the stamp, and the one on the left is with the stamp cleaned off. I cleaned the stamp off. And now let's stamp that on the front. And I'm not unhappy with the way it looks, but it is more subtle than it would have been had I left the black ink on the stamp. Hope I'm making sense. Now I'm taking the gold 
paint on my brush going around the outside edge of each booklet. And now just some dry brushing just to add some of that gold into the entire piece, into the cover. Now for the little signature. And I had created this Coptic stitch signature that I have laying open here. And I had glued a piece of lace down the edge and I had actually cup Coptic stitched it into two of my covers and I just never really liked it so I pulled it apart. I'm going to pull that apart further and I'm going to cut it to fit inside these books and fold so that I have just a tiny bit of lace peeking out the outside edge of this. Now I'm using something that I've cannibalized a previous project and if you want to add a signature inside your book, you can just fold over plain typing paper. You can do coffee stain typing paper. You can put additional index cards on the inside of here. The sky's the limit on what you can use as your signature, music sheets, book pages, you name it. Anything goes. Once again, you do what you're comfortable with. I chose to cannibalize something that I didn't like. Um, I liked the cover, and I wanted to use the cover, but I really didn't like the way the signature looked inside it. So I pulled it out, and I have it in my bin to, of scraps to use, and that's what I'm choosing to use in this. It's kind of a lengthy explanation, wasn't it? But in any event, we have signatures made. Now, in this entire project, there's probably one thing that I'm the most excited about that I chose to do in this project, and that's coming up. So stick with me. Don't leave me yet. And I'm just trimming that lace down. So it's not so overpowering, and it's just a hint of lace that's coming outside that booklet. And here it is, the exciting part. I painted my staples gold. So I opened up my stapler, and I put a thin coat. I pulled the staples out, put a thin coat of gold paint on them, and now I have these books closed with a gold staple and you can see the gold on the edge. So let's continue with the gold. I'm taking the paint pen and splattering them all with that gold paint. And that completes this project. So here is a little photo montage of the finished piece. Once again, the playlist for the coffee cup prompt for the Facebook group Two Old Crows Mixed Media is in the playlist as well as on the end screen. And I hope you'll come over, join the Facebook group, join us in posting your pictures of what you do with index cards this month during the month of October 2023. Thanks for being here. Give me a thumbs up if you would please and if you haven't subscribed we'd love to have you. Bye for now.